Wombat, what are you doing? Hi everyone! Mr. Wombat just loves dancing. Do you like dancing too? Yeah, so do I. So today, we have a very special science project for you. We're going to make our own dancing raisins. Doesn't that sound like fun? So we're going to need these ingredients. We're going to need some, some raisins. Some carbonated water or sparkling water. And two clear glass cups or plastic cups as long as they're clear and you can see it. In the first cup, we're going to need some normal non-carbonated water. I got water out of my sink, but you can use bottled water as well as long as there's no carbonation in it. And also a clean glass to put the carbonated water in. Are you ready? Let's get started with the experiment. So let's see what happens when we drop some raisins into our normal non-carbonated water. I'm going to put five raisins. Can you count them with me? Great, let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Can you see what happened to the raisins? They sunk to the bottom. That's because the raisins are more dense. Now, let's see what happens when we drop five raisins into our carbonated water. Can you see the bubbles in the water? That's carbon dioxide gas. So let's see what happens when we drop our raisins inside. I'm gonna do five raisins again. Can you count with me? Great, let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Let's watch what happens to our raisins. Can you see that? The raisins are floating to the top and then they're going back down. When the carbon dioxide bubbles wrap around the raisins and, and the, carbon, uh, the carbon bubbles race to the top, it takes the raisins with it. And then as, the, as they reach the top, the carbon dioxide is released and the raisins fall back again. So it looks like they're dancing. Sometimes it takes a little longer for the carbon dioxide bubbles to wrap around the raisins, but when they do, you'll be able to see them dancing also. 